This lesson is going to be all about how to leverage a super powerful mindset shift, level up your mixes immediately to a pro level, even beyond some working class audio engineer. To begin this lesson, I want to share a quick quote that I love. So this is a German proverb and it goes something like this. Wer zwei Hasen auf einmal jagt, bekommt keinen. That means that whoever is hunting for two rabbits at one time doesn't get any rabbits. The reason is because right, the two rabbits are running in opposite directions. So you're trying to chase both and you just can't decide where you're going. What does this have to do with mixing? What in mixing this happens so often. So first of all, when you're actually in the process of mixing, just mix and not only just mix, but only focus on the one step that you are on. If you are thinking about compression while you're EQing your vocal, you're never going to end up with a pro mix because you're, again, you're, you're chasing the two rabbits and you're not exactly sure where you're going. I have a free uh, checklist called the, the ultimate mixing checklist. The true value in that checklist is focusing people on one step at a time. It's going to completely change the way you mix and it's going, you're going to be able to mix faster because you'll be able to focus on one step at a time. It's going to guide you through the process so that really focus on that one step and then make those incremental changes throughout the entire mix. And I have different levels of, you know, EQ so that you're not just trying to do all the EQ all at once inside of your mix, but you're focusing on one type of EQ inside of your mix and then able to uh, eventually level up your mix into a professional mix. I'll also have a link to that down below if you don't already have that and you want to check it out. The other uh, shift that you can make inside of your habits of mixing is a concept known as habit stacking. So James Clear wrote a book called Atomic Habits. If you haven't read it, it's a great book for just life in general. So I highly recommend it if you haven't already. What he teaches inside of Atomic Habits is that there's this super powerful technique called habit stacking. What that is, is when you are trying to instill a new habit into your life. For example, you're trying to floss. In order to begin flossing, you decide, okay, every time I am done brushing my teeth, then I will floss. By making that agreement with yourself, all of a sudden you've attached it to an existing habit. Assuming that you actually brush your teeth, you're also now going to floss. So it's much easier to just build in a system for yourself of after I brush my teeth, I floss. If you just say, I'm going to floss more without any definite attachment to an existing habit, way harder and more likely impossible to actually be to begin flossing, even though everybody knows they should be flossing more than they probably do. That is the principle of habit stacking. Another example is uh, this, this guy that I read about who had read the book and then decided that he was going to implement this in order to help himself learn Mandarin Chinese. And he had moved to China and he decided, okay, what am I, what habit am I, am I going to instill in order to get a you know better result in learning Mandarin. And so he decided he was a businessman, so he's always taking taxis here and there, and he would take an average of four to five taxis every single day. And these taxi rides would be, you know, 10 to 15 minutes uh, a piece. And so he decided, okay, I am going to, every time I enter a taxi, I'm going to then speak Mandarin with the taxi driver, and we're gonna have a conversation. So even in you know 10 to 15 minute blocks of his day, he was able to at least practice minimum an hour per day on his Mandarin. And within two years, he was speaking fluent Mandarin just by this one tiny habit that he was able to instill by attaching it to another habit of getting inside of the taxi. What does this have to do with mixing? Okay, I'm glad you asked because with mixing, this is the same exact way when you open up the DAW. So if we open up the DAW in our mixing session, we know, okay, it's time for mixing, let's mix. So then we get done mixing, and then all of a sudden we decide, okay, I'm done with the mix, now it's time for mastering. Most people, you're probably one of them, don't lie to me, is that you try to master inside of your mix session. Stop it. You're not allowing your brain to get in the mindset of mastering. You're still in the mix session. You're still, your brain is still mixing, not mastering. So instead, finish your mix, export it in a WAV file as if you were gonna send it to someone like me as a mastering engineer, and instead, open up a new session, put it in there, and then master it. This is going to level up your masters and your mixes beyond anything that you could possibly imagine by shifting the mindset and shifting the habits that you have when you open that new session. This is also applicable when you are producing versus mixing. For the longest time, I would produce a song and then I would try to mix it 
in that production session until I learned this habit. And then I realized if I export all of the tracks, yeah, it takes 15 minutes or whatever to export all the tracks, make sure you do it properly and import it into the new session, set up the new session. It does take a little bit of time, but I was way faster in my mixing process because I wasn't thinking about the production anymore. I was just focused on mixing. It was just as if somebody else had sent me some tracks and all I had to do was mix them. Instead of somebody else sending them to me, it was just me. I was sending them to myself. But it's incredible what your brain picks up on in terms of shifting that gear of, okay, I'm no longer producing this, I am now mixing it. And because you were in that production session so long, it's time to export them into the mixing session and then just start mixing. The two shifts that you should be making in your mixes is one, don't try to do two things at once. Only focus when you're EQing, only focus on EQ. When you're compressing, only focus on what you're compressing. Secondarily, never mix the different stages of the audio production process. Don't be trying to produce while you're mixing and don't be trying to mix while you're producing and don't be trying to master while you're trying to mix. One more thing for you, massive shift that's going to level you up even above working class audio engineers and so I'll see you in the next video.